Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G. I'm going to give my official prediction video later in the week. But before I do that, I wanted to touch on some quick thoughts. One thing that uh, I'm looking at as far as leading up to this fight is will Canelo have some ring rust? All right. We've, we've, see, uh, we've seen big fighters, um, guys like Canelo, who have fought once a year, twice a year. Um, and yet they, they look good when they get in the ring. But the thing with Canelo is he hasn't fought since his last fight with Triple G exactly a year ago, almost exactly a year ago to the date. Um, had some things going on in between that. Was supposed to have a fight with Triple G earlier in the year. But it got canceled due to Canelo Alvarez failing multiple drug tests. So will the get ready to fight, oh, I'm not fighting, and then have to get ready to fight again, um, and I'm in between these two fights a year, will that all affect Canelo in the ring? Will there be some rust? Will there be some mental issues going on? Will he um, be too angry with everything that's going on? He's talked about using this to fuel the fire, all his negative energy to fuel the fire, being mad at Triple G's team, being downright angry at Triple G's team for all this stuff they've been saying about him failing drug tests, being dirty, being a cheat, um, all this stuff that's been coming from boxing fans his way about being a cheat, all this stuff. Um, will he be too angry going into the ring uh, and open up a little too more and be caught with a big Triple G shot in this fight? Um, or will he, will he be able to harness that anger and use it, to his, use it to his advantage and still be able to box. Um, you know, that's to be seen. But with the year layoff, all right, um, with that, will he be able to, will he give up early rounds is the big question. Will he come out a little rusty, give up some early rounds, um, and in a close fight that could come back to hurt him. One advantage for him is we've seen Canelo in multiple fights, including the last fight with Triple G, get the benefit of the doubt in close fights, in close rounds. All right. More people than not, many more people than not thought Triple G won the fight. And Canelo got the draw. We've seen Canelo get the benefit of the doubt on scorecards in the past. So that's an advantage for him. And, um, you know, he'll have a little leeway you would think in that department to um, be able to give up some early rounds and come back in the fight. Uh, but you have to worry about that ring rust being laid off a year. Ultimately, I think he'll be all right. He's a class fighter. Um, he's, he's a guy who has been fighting a, a lot of times twice a year. So once a year, not much of a big change, but um, I think he'll be all right as far as ring rust goes. But that's the big question. Will ring rust be a problem for him? Also, will... Um, the mental stuff, will it get in his head too much? All right, will it get him out of his boxing um, and, and make him want to open up too much and go for a knockout? We'll see. Those are two big question marks for me. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I'm going to give my official prediction video later in the week, give some disadvantages, I, I think, for, for Golovkin as well. But these are two things that could be a problem for Canelo. Hit me up, let me know what y'all think. Peace.